Dear listeners, tonight I beckon you to step into a realm of dreams where the echoes of ancient battles reverberate through the rugged landscapes of Viking-era Scandinavia. In this land, where legendary warriors walk the earth and every runestone whispers a tale of destiny, prepare to be enthralled. Relax, close your eyes, and let the story whisk you away to a time of bravery and foresight, where a young warrior named Leif confronts the haunting visions of a mystical runestone. Join me as we uncover secrets of strength, wisdom, and sacrifice, journeying together through a world of wonder and timeless legends. The Runestone's Secret Journey into Viking Legends The crisp smell of pine and the earthy perfume of the forest floor filled the air in the untamed Scandinavia of the Viking era. Dappled shadows were thrown on the earth below by towering trees, their branches intertwined like the hands of ancient giants. This was Leif's territory, a vast and untamed area that tempted his spirit of adventure. It was among these woods that Leif, a young warrior renowned for his daring and boundless curiosity, frequently found comfort. His lonesome investigations were accompanied by familiar noises, like the distant call of a crow and the whisper of the wind through the leaves. On a tragic day, Leif embarked on a new journey as the sun sank low in the sky, creating long shadows that shimmered in the golden light. He glided like a seasoned hunter, all grace and stealth as his sharp eyes searched the landscape for anything out of the ordinary. His instincts, sharpened by innumerable hunts and conflicts, took him farther into the forest than he had ever gone. Something drew his attention there, concealed beneath a thick layer of moss and fallen leaves. A glimmer of stone, almost completely obscured by the forest's detritus, piqued his interest. Kneeling down, Leif brushed away the leaves and moss with careful hands, his fingers traced the contours of an ancient stone, half buried in the earth. It was unlike any stone he had seen before. The markings on it were strange, not the usual carvings of animals or runes familiar to his people. These symbols seemed to shimmer faintly, even in the waning light of the day. Intrigued by these strange markings, Leif continued to clear away the dirt and moss. With each stroke, more of the stone surface was revealed and the symbols became clearer. They were runes, but not the kind used in everyday inscriptions. These were older, more intricate, and filled with an energy that Leif could almost feel humming through his fingertips. The symbols seemed to glow faintly in the twilight, casting an eerie yet mesmerizing light. As he uncovered the last of the stone, Leif sat back on his heels, studying it intently. He reached out to touch the runes, feeling their ancient power resonate beneath his fingertips. The moment his skin made contact with the stone, a surge of energy coursed through him. It was as if the stone itself was alive its power connecting with him in a way that was both exhilarating and terrifying. Leif's vision blurred, and his mind was flooded with vivid images. He saw scenes of battles, fierce and chaotic, with warriors clashing in a storm of steel and blood. Faces of men he recognized, and others he did not flashed before him, 
their expressions of fear, anger, and determination searing into his consciousness. He saw flames and heard the roar of war, the clash of swords and the cries of the wounded. These visions were so real, so immediate, that Leif felt as though he was standing on the battlefield himself. Leif's heart was racing in his chest, and he was having trouble breathing when the visions eventually stopped. He stumbled back, attempting to process what had just happened. He was perplexed yet in wonder, as he peered down at the rune stone and realized that this was no typical treasure. It was a potent relic with the ability to predict the future, both a boon and a bane. Leif knew that such a discovery could not be taken lightly. The power of the rune stone was immense, and its implications were profound. He understood that the visions it granted were not mere fantasies, but glimpses of what was to come. As a warrior and a leader, he would need to use this knowledge wisely to protect his people and his homeland. The forest around him seemed to close in, the shadows growing longer as night approached. Leif carefully covered the runestone back with moss and leaves, marking the spot in his mind. He would return to this place, but for now he needed to process what he had discovered and decide on his next steps. The weight of his responsibility pressed heavily on his shoulders as he made his way back to the village the glowing symbols of the rune stone lingering in his mind like a haunting melody. As he emerged from the forest, the familiar sight of his village greeted him. Smoke rose from the chimneys, and the sounds of daily life drifted through the air. But Leaf felt changed, as if the forest had whispered secrets to him that no one else could hear. He knew that his path was now intertwined with the fate of the runestone, and that his destiny was to unravel the mysteries it held, to face the battles it foretold, and to lead his people with the wisdom and foresight granted by this ancient and powerful artifact. Returning to his village, Leif couldn't shake the haunting images that had seared themselves into his mind. The serene landscape of his home seemed a stark contrast to the visions of chaos and bloodshed that the runestone had revealed. He saw invasions by foreign armies, fierce clashes between warriors, and the anguished faces of his comrades in distress. The weight of these visions bore down on him heavily, each step towards the village feeling like a march towards an inevitable doom. He arrived in the village and found little solace in the sights and sounds he was familiar with. Though Leif had glimpsed an impending peril, the villagers went about their daily business as usual. Children played in the dusty streets, Women took care of their duties, while men sharpened their weapons and equipment. But under this exterior of normalcy, Leif felt a tinge of unease. His heart was filled with terror after receiving insights from the runestone, and he came to the realization that he was powerless to handle this burden on his own. Unsure of what to make of these terrifying visions, Leif sought the counsel of the village elder, a wise man named Bjorn. Bjorn was known for his vast knowledge and deep understanding of the old ways. His weathered face and piercing eyes spoke of a life spent in contemplation and service to his people. When Leif approached him, Bjorn was sitting by the fire, his gnarled hands wrapped around a carved wooden staff. 
Sit, Leif, Bjorn said, his voice a gravelly whisper. Tell me what troubles you. Leif recounted his discovery of the runestone and the visions it had bestowed upon him. He described the foreign armies, the brutal battles, and the faces of his comrades twisted in pain and fear. Bjorn listened intently, his expression grave. When Leif finished, Bjorn reached out and took the runestone, examining it closely. This stone holds great power, Leif, Bjorn said, his voice heavy with the weight of his words. It shows you what may come, but not what must come. The future is not set in stone. It is shaped by the actions we take. Use this knowledge wisely, for it can be both a blessing and a curse. Bjorn's words offered some solace, but they also underscored the immense responsibility that had been thrust upon life. He knew he had to act, and quickly. Determined to protect his people, Leif began to prepare for the battles foretold by the stone. He called a meeting of the village warriors, sharing with them what he had seen. Though skeptical at first, the gravity of Leif's conviction and the urgency in his eyes convinced them of the seriousness of the threat. Leif's first step was to rally the warriors and fortify the village's defences. He organised training sessions, ensuring that every able-bodied man knew how to wield a weapon effectively. The warriors practised tirelessly, honing their skills with swords, axes and shields. Leif drilled them in formations and strategies, emphasising the importance of unity and discipline in the face of overwhelming odds. Under his leadership, the village was transformed into a bastion of strength and readiness. Walls were reinforced, watchtowers erected, and lookout points established to monitor any approaching danger. The villagers worked together with a renewed sense of purpose, their faith in Leif's leadership unshakable. He inspired them with his courage and determination, and in turn they gave him their unwavering support. Despite these preparations, the visions continued to haunt Leif. At night he would see the faces of his friends and family, their expressions contorted in agony as they fought against the invaders. These nightmares left him restless, but they also fueled his resolve. He knew he had to do everything in his power to prevent these terrible events from coming to pass. Leif's relationship with Bjorn deepened during this time. The elder's wisdom became a beacon of hope and guidance for the young warrior. Bjorn taught life to meditate and to seek clarity through quiet reflection. Together they pored over ancient texts and runes, searching for any clues that might help them understand the full extent of the runestone's power. Remember, Leif, Bjorn would say, the future is like a river. It flows in many directions, and even the smallest stone can change its course. Your actions, your choices, they are the stones that will shape the destiny of our people. Leif took these lessons to heart. He began to see the visions not as a fixed fate, but as a warning, a call to action. With this new perspective, he redoubled his efforts, ensuring that every decision he made was guided by both wisdom and foresight. He knew the road ahead would be fraught with challenges, but he was ready to face them head-on, armed with the knowledge of what could be and the determination to forge a better path for his people. 
The days turned into weeks, and the village stood ready, their defenses strong and their spirits high. Leif's leadership had galvanized them, turning fear into resolve. They were prepared to face whatever came their way, united under a common cause. As the first signs of the approaching invaders began to appear on the horizon, Leif stood at the forefront, his heart steeled with the knowledge that he had done everything in his power to protect his homeland. The morning sun cast long shadows across the rugged landscape as Leif and his warriors prepared for the impending clash. The vision from the runestone had shown him the exact place where the invaders would strike. A narrow pass, nestled between two steep hills. This strategic location would be crucial in the battle to come, and Leif knew he had to use every advantage the terrain offered. Leif gathered his warriors, their faces grim yet determined. He outlined his plan, his voice steady and authoritative. We will use the pass to our advantage, he began. The narrowness of the path will force the enemy to funnel through, limiting their numbers and making it easier for us to defend. He assigned positions to his men, placing the archers on the high ground overlooking the pass. From there they could rain arrows down upon the approaching enemy. The strongest warriors, including Leif himself, would hold the front line, ready to engage the invaders in close combat. Behind them, a second line of fighters stood ready to support and reinforce where needed. As the first vision approached reality, the tension in the air was palpable, the sound of distant footsteps and the clanging of metal grew louder, signaling the approach of the enemy. Leif's heart pounded, but he remained outwardly calm, his mind focused on the task at hand. He had seen this battle play out in his visions, and he was determined to use that foresight to their advantage. The moment the enemy emerged from the pass, Leif gave the signal. The archers released their arrows, their aim true as they struck the invaders with deadly precision. Screams of pain echoed through the narrow pass, but the enemy pressed on, determined to break through the Viking defences. Leif drew his sword, its blade gleaming in the sunlight. With a fierce battle cry he led his warriors into the fray, the clash of steel on steel resounded through the pass as the two forces collided. Leif moved with the agility and strength of a seasoned warrior, each swing of his sword precise and calculated. He could see the future unfold just as the stone had shown him, allowing him to anticipate the enemy's moves and counter them with lethal efficiency. Despite the chaos of battle, Leif remained calm and focused. He barked orders to his men, guiding them with precision. Hold the line. Reinforce the left flank. Archers, focus your fire on the center. His voice cut through the din of combat, instilling confidence and resolve in his warriors. The invaders, caught off guard by the well-prepared Vikings, struggled to gain ground. Their initial momentum faltered as they encountered fierce resistance. Leif's foresight had allowed him to position his men strategically, using the terrain to their advantage and maximizing their effectiveness in combat. As the battle raged on, Leif's warriors fought with unwavering determination. They pushed back the invaders, their spirits bolstered by Leif's leadership.
and the knowledge that they were fighting for their homeland. The ground was littered with the fallen, but the Vikings held their ground, refusing to yield. In the thick of the battle, Leif found himself face to face with the enemy commander. The man was a formidable opponent, his eyes burning with hatred and resolve. They clashed fiercely, their swords ringing out with each strike. Leif's foresight allowed him to anticipate the commander's moves, but the man was skilled and relentless. The fight was brutal, each warrior giving their all. Leif's muscles burned with exertion, but he pushed through the pain. Driven by the knowledge that the fate of his people depended on this battle, with a final powerful swing, Leif struck the enemy commander down, his sword biting deep into the man's chest. The commander fell, his eyes wide with shock and disbelief. With their leader defeated, the invaders' morale shattered. They began to retreat, their formation breaking apart in disarray. Leif's warriors pursued them driving them out of the pass and away from their village. Victory was theirs, but Leif knew this was only the beginning. As the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded, Leif surveyed the battlefield. The weight of his newfound responsibility pressed heavily on his shoulders. He had led his people to victory, but he also knew that the visions from the runestone would continue to haunt him. There would be more battles, more challenges to face. With pride and resolve in his words, Leif rallied his warriors. Today has been a victory, but the battle is far from over. We have to be on guard and ready for anything that can happen next. With a mix of relief and steely resolve on their faces, his men nodded. The victory had come at a cost, but it had also solidified Leif's role as a leader. He had proven himself not just as a warrior, but as a strategist and a protector. The runestone had given him the foresight to guide his people, but it was his courage and determination that had led them to victory. Leif knew there would be difficulties ahead as the sun sank over the battleground, bathing the dead in a golden glow. But armed with the warrior's might and the visions from the runestone, he was prepared to confront whatever challenge they faced. As time went on, Leif continued to rely on the runestone's visions to guide his people through the tumultuous landscape of war. Each victory they achieved brought them closer to a fragile peace, but each battle also exacted a heavy toll. The weight of responsibility bore down on Leif, and he began to notice the subtle changes in those around him, his warriors, once full of fire and determination, now carried a shadow of weariness in their eyes. The strain of constant warfare etched lines of fatigue into the faces of his men. They fought valiantly, their loyalty to Leif unwavering. But the endless cycle of bloodshed and death began to take its toll. Leif could see the fear lurking behind their brave facades, the silent question in their eyes. Were their sacrifices truly worth it? Every loss weighed heavily on them, and as their leader, Leif felt the burden of each fallen comrade as if it were his own. In the quiet moments between battles, Leif found himself haunted by the visions from the runestone. The images of future conflicts, once a source of strategic advantage, 
now felt like a relentless tide pulling him towards an uncertain fate. The stone showed him the way, but it could not tell him if the path was the right one. Doubt gnawed at his mind, eroding the confidence he had once possessed. One night, after a particularly brutal skirmish, Leif sought the solace of Bjorn's wisdom. The village elder had become a trusted confidant, his insights a beacon of clarity in the fog of war. As they sat by the fire, the flames casting flickering shadows on their faces, Leif finally voiced the fears that had been festering within him. The stone shows me the way, but it cannot tell me if the path is right, Leif admitted, his voice tinged with a weariness that spoke of countless sleepless nights. I see the battles to come, but I cannot see the end. I cannot see if we will ever find peace. Bjorn nodded, his weathered face reflecting a deep understanding of the young warrior's plight. He placed a reassuring hand on Leif's shoulder, the gesture both comforting and grounding. True leadership, Leif, is not just about winning battles. It's about understanding the cost of those victories and knowing when to seek peace over war. Leif absorbed Bjorn's words, feeling the truth of them resonate within him. The runestone's visions had become a double-edged sword, granting him foresight, but also binding him to a cycle of violence. He realized that his role as a leader was not solely to guide his people through battle, but to navigate the complex terrain of their emotions and well-being. Leif's vision cleared and he started to adjust his direction. He began to look past the near-term dangers and weigh the long-term effects of every choice. Although having foresight came at a steep cost, it also presented a chance for development and knowledge. Leif understood that he needed to weigh the wisdom bestowed by the runestone against empathy and sympathy for his people. He spent more time talking to his troops and listening to their worries, giving them words of support. He opened up a space for them to find comfort in their common humanity by sharing his own uncertainties and anxieties. The relationships between Leif and his men were strengthened by his candor, which promoted a sense of unity and trust. Leif started looking at non-violent means of resolving disputes, as well as alternate tactics. He made contact with nearby tribes in an effort to build relationships and find points of agreement. There were many obstacles in the way of peace, but Leif was resolved to follow the route with the same zeal he had formerly dedicated for combat. As the seasons changed, so too did the landscape of their struggles. The constant warfare began to wane, replaced by tentative agreements and fragile truces. Leif's efforts to balance foresight with wisdom bore fruit, and his people began to see a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Yet the journey was far from over. The runestone's vision still loomed in the background, a reminder of the uncertainties that lay ahead. But Leif had learned to navigate the delicate balance between destiny and choice. He understood that true leadership was not about having all the answers, but about guiding his people with integrity and compassion, even in the face of uncertainty. Leif's newfound perspective transformed him into a leader who could inspire not just through victory, but through understanding and empathy. 
the cost of foresight had been high, but it had also granted him the wisdom to see beyond the immediate, to envision a future where peace was not just a fleeting dream, but a tangible reality. Ultimately, Leif's adventure was more about the lessons he picked up along the road than it was about the conflicts he faced. He had realized that the real test of a leader was not how many battles they fought, but rather how much peace they fostered and how many lives they impacted. Leif was ready to guide his people into a future molded by wisdom and foresight after coming to this insight and resuming his position with a revitalized sense of purpose. And that, my listeners, was the runestone secret. If you enjoyed tonight's tale from the heart of old Scandinavia, don't forget to give a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a mystical story. Until next time, sleep well and stay curious.